four decades after its establishment, Trade Union Federation Kasatu is gathered in Midran for its 14th National Congress. This comes at the back of numerous protests, uh, including uh, or rather against job security, unfair practices in the workplace, as well as ever increasing cost of living and the economy. Let's go to Selina Lomasiganu, who's following uh, those developments, just to give us a brief of uh, what's been happening today. Of course, Lee, we saw uh, the drama that unfolded yesterday, but I believe Salima Baila, the Secretary General, um, he actually received a standing ovation. What did he have to say to those delegates? Definitely a different reaction to the alliance's uh, other partner, that is the SACP, and uh, Solima Baila giving an address, being allowed to give an address, in fact being um, brought up to the podium with loud applause and cheering. And I am joined by the man himself right now who's just gotten off um, with his message of support. You saying the SACP is ready to lead, that the ruling party needs to be held accountable. And of course, you've seen what unfolded yesterday with the the chair of the ANC not being allowed at this point to address the Congress. What are workers saying to the Alliance? Well, it's a clear message. It's a wake-up call for us in the Alliance about how we have implemented and executed uh, our revolutionary program to transform the lives of the people. There's been major weaknesses. And I think um, workers are actually indicating that they are tired about excuses, uh, lack of accountability. Uh, for instance, the president should have come here to account to the workers and say to the workers, uh, we reneged on the agreement we signed with you because of one, two, three reasons. It's not just left to the boardrooms. Uh, and now you make workers more vulnerable to the capitalist forces out there, which had actually replicated this in the private sector. And several other, other issues, the public sector itself, inability to cope with high demands for social services, because of austerity measures imposed by the National Treasury on budgets. And that's why we've called for employment of more police, more nurses, uh, more doctors, more social workers in our communities to work with our communities for development and to roll out public infrastructure to meet and create jobs and meet the social obligations that we have as government. But we have uh, left all of these things in the, in the tender system. And therefore, the, the, the workers have demonstrated their level of impatience with us. It's understandable. We cannot condemn this action. Of course, ideally, there's a framework in which we conduct ourselves. But I can tell you that this framework has been exhausted. There's no single issue that we've raised here today that has not been raised properly in closed doors, uh, where there's no uh, 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 water being poured on uh, people's faces. Mr. Mabaila, then how relevant is this is this alliance anymore? I mean, you no, said you, one of the last the things you said was that the SACP is ready to contest elections if the workers are ready to have them. So it looks like the workers are ready to have you. Yes, that's a program that we need to roll out uh, clearly in consultation with our alliance forces. We, have, we are consulting with COSAT themselves after this Congress. Now they will have been a new leadership. We have already started consultation with the ANC. They have promised us that they will table this matter to their NEC for discussions. So that before December, at least at the moment we've agreed to have an economic and energy summit of the alliance before December. In other words, before the ANC conference in December. So that that conference must adopt this framework. Because if it fails to adopt this particular framework and continue with the neoliberal economic measures, then there's no need for us to be working together and, and, and claim that we are in alliance. Because the alliance mission is not being carried out. In other words, its execution processes has decayed, had failed, and therefore leading to the decay itself of the National Democratic Revolution. That is why, because of the centrality of the content of the National Democratic Revolution, to end poverty, to create liberation for the people. Liberation for the people is food for our people. Running clean, running water, it's access to sanitation, to electricity, to health care, all of these basic things, as Comrade Pisano would have said, outlining what basic socialism is. It's basic things that, basic necessities for the people. When the revolution fails to meet this basic obligation, we must then ask ourselves the mission of the revolution, whether those in charge of the execution of the revolutionary program are capable enough or have the capacity to drive that particular transformation agenda. So the alliance is not about individuals, it's a, it's a transformative program 
That's the thing that has brought us together. That do transformative you, program has been weakened. Do you think the ANC would back the SACP if, let's say, the alliance comes to an agreement before December that the SACP should contest elections? No, that's up to the ANC to do that. Uh, when the SACP says it will contest elections, elections are contested by any other party. Uh, or even our, we are going to have a broader discussion about our relationship with the concept of state and state power because it's, it's broader than the, 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 the elections. But elections just a mechanism. And in the context of South Africa, where appropriate power for transformation of society is located in the state through elected offices, people put their manifestos, drive government budgets mandated by the public to respond to the concerns of the people. So if you are not in that particular space, or if you are invited in that particular space, but your voice is ignored, then you are not actually effectively participating. You can shout as, as much as you want, but a, a, a rogue mayor comes in, takes decisions that are unfavorable to the, to the masses. We can't even remove that mayor. We only have to complain through an alliance process. And if you weaken the alliance process, so you have run away with disservice to the people. That is why we, have, we, have, we are committed first to the alliance and to a functioning alliance, to a transformative alliance that will rejuvenate and revitalize the National Democratic Revolution, our transformative agenda. No other party in this country has a comprehensive agenda for transformation than this of the alliance. So it's not only an agenda that can only be implemented by the ANC. It's as if you can implement the same agenda. Uh, COSATO or any other revolutionary force can implement this agenda. They don't need permission to implement this agenda. Even socialism, by the way, no one needs permission to implement socialism in the context of South Africa. But we are the leading socialist force and therefore we take responsibility for implementation of that model. Lastly then, um, if Mr. Mantashe, uh, one of the alliance partners that does not address this Congress by the time it closes, what does this mean for the alliance? Well, we hope that the leadership is discussing this matter. Because firstly, I think the workers have made their point. Now, having made their point, there will be, we, we, we have proposed that we need to go and engage as an alliance. Okay. If we are still committed to engaging and resolving our problems as an alliance, the workers have been made the point, they can still allow him to speak. But we can't force it on them. But the, the leadership can actually engage with the workers about this possibility because their point has been made. And I must say, from the party's perspective, we, are, we fully understand the concerns of the workers. We have been with them, the frontline workers, who are suffering, from, who were, who were suffering during COVID-19, who were out there on their own. Most of them died in service of this country, who are, who are still owed money by government. So when they raise these concerns, we appreciate. I have, uh, I have family members with two trans frontline workers, one a police person, one a nurse. All, all through, throughout the, 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 the difficult period of COVID-19, every single day when they came home, some of the family members didn't even want to meet them. And yet the government couldn't recognize the gravity that these workers were facing. Yeah. So the alliance is at risk at this point? The alliance, the alliance is a program. It's not the parties. It's a program. I it's think at risk. This there. program is at risk. No. We are taking responsibility to revitalize the program. That's why we're building a mass socialist movement of the workers and the poor, with or without the alliance. But centrally, the alliance is important to play that critical role in that regard. That is why it's critical that we rebuild and unite the alliance. Thank you so much, Mr. Mabaila. Thank you very much. All right, sir. Um, that is uh, the SACP Soli Mabaila engaging us on some of uh, his comments um, on the podium and exactly where he thinks uh, this alliance stands at this point, and like I've said, at this point we don't know, um, Masiko, whether the ANC chair will be allowed to address the Congress, but he remains here. He's here with an ANC delegation, and uh, we've heard from the SACP in terms of them addressing and giving their message of support. Uh, we are now in a lunch break, and we'll be reconvening, where, of course, the program will then continue. All right, Selina Lamasegani, in conversation there with the SACP Secretary General, Solima Baila, it's going to be quite interesting, as you heard there from Sli, whether or not Gweda Mantashe will eventually take to the podium in this program.